Uh, so hypertension is actually really common in the U.S. population. 24% of the U.S. population has hypertension undiagnosed. Even when they get like diagnosed with the hypertension, it's about only half of the patient they get under control. So it's really important that the uh, patient should take the medication as prescribed and check their blood pressure once a day and record that uh, so we did know their blood pressure either too high or too low. When their blood pressure they out the range either too high or too low, they should call and discuss with their doctor right away. Or if they can, they make an appointment to see the doctor and just show them about the blood pressure recording. Because when blood pressure is too high, it can cause uh, other problems such as a stroke, can have heart attack, if that happened, they might have to be hospitalized. Uh, it's a silent killer because you don't feel anything. You don't have any symptoms when your blood pressure is high until it becomes really, really high. They call that the crisis. With the pandemic right now, if you have hypertension and it's not controlled, and if you unfortunately get COVID-19, it's more complication. It's you get longer to recover from the COVID-19. There is also a really common issues with the blood pressure when patient checking at home. Sometimes it's higher than usual. So they tend to recheck it again right away. Uh, but I would recommend that they should wait about five minutes and recheck on the same arms again to see is that the same number. In that five minutes that you should be relaxed uh, not to be anxious because when you have anxiety, it will increase the blood pressure and it won't be accurate. Uh, so just relax, wait about five minutes later, recheck your blood pressure. And if it's still high, another thing you can do is say you wait for another five minutes and check it on the opposite arm to see what is the blood pressure on the other arm. Uh, again, just uh, record that, uh, write that down on those numbers. If you get that persistently high, if you recheck it after five minutes later for three or four days, you should call and get the opinion or recommendation from the healthcare provider to see if you need to change the medication. Uh, but in the meantime, you still can do some stuff at home like do exercise, just watch out on your diet again, uh, cut out on the salt. Uh, smoking or drinking, and we'll see how's that go. Hi, my name's Joey, and I'm here to teach you how to use a blood pressure machine. The blood pressure machine helps measure the pressure of your arteries as your heart pumps. By checking your blood pressure regularly, you can help your healthcare provider diagnose any health issues you may have early on. It is important to measure your blood pressure regularly because many people may not know if they have high blood pressure as some may not have any warning signs or symptoms. Before starting the machine, make sure you are relaxed for at least a couple of minutes and to relax your left hand before pressing the button. Remember not to smoke or drink any caffeinated drinks or exercise for at least 30 minutes before your measurement. When taking your blood pressure, you want to be in a safe, comfortable, and relaxing environment. For example, in your living room or in your bedroom. You want to sit in a chair with enough back support while having your feet flat onto the ground, keeping your legs uncrossed. Otherwise, this can cause an increased reading on the blood pressure machine. Also, you want to keep your arms straight with the cuff on a table at chest height, making sure the blood pressure cuff is snug but not too tight or too loose. You should be able to insert one finger between your arm and cuff. In addition, you want the cuff to be on your bare skin and not on top of any clothing. You want to position the cuff approximately 0.5 inches above the elbow joint and the air tubing over the inside of your arm. A common mistake people do is using the wrong size cuff and having the cuff over their clothing. Again, this can cause an inaccurate reading on the machine. Also, do not talk while taking your blood pressure because this can cause a false reading onto the machine.
When you get your blood pressure measurements, there will be two numbers. The number on top is called the systolic blood pressure and the bottom is the diastolic pressure. The systolic pressure is when the heart squeezes and pushes blood through the arteries onto the rest of the body. This creates pressure onto the vessels. The diastolic pressure is the pressure of the arteries of when the heart rests in between the beats. And finally, the number underneath the blood pressure measurement is your heartbeat per minute. When reading your measurements, it is important to understand what these numbers mean. Normal blood pressure is 120 over 80 and anything over 129 is considered high blood pressure. If your blood pressure measures anything higher than 180 over 120, call 911 as your health may be in danger. As for low blood pressure, anything below 90 millimeters of mercury for the top number or 60 millimeters of mercury for the bottom number is generally considered low blood pressure. Common mistakes when taking your blood pressure that can result in a false reading is having no support on your back or feet. Sitting with your legs crossed. Not using the correct size cuff. Wrapping the cuff around clothing. Having the center tube over the middle of the arm. And lastly, having the air tube go up instead of down along the bare upper arm. These mistakes are crucial when wanting to get an accurate reading from your machine. A few causes for high blood pressure are obesity, alcohol consumption, smoking, diabetes, stress, and salt intake. It is important to understand what the causes are that are linked to hypertension because as mentioned earlier, there may be no signs of symptoms. A few life-threatening symptoms linked to low blood pressure are confusion, especially among older individuals, cold, clammy, and pale skin, rapid and shallow breathing, and weak and rapid pulse. If you or anyone you know has these type of symptoms linked with low blood pressure, please seek emergency help right away. Some causes linked to low blood pressure is pregnancy, dehydration, blood loss, lack of nutrients, severe infection, and lastly, diabetes. If you have trouble keeping your blood pressure at a stable and normal level, here are a few tips. Quit smoking, limit alcohol content, exercise, keep a healthy diet, and check your blood pressure daily and record your results in a journal. It is important to record your own blood pressure if you continually have abnormal levels. To get a more accurate reading, make sure you take your measurements at least two times.